So let's get the Pico Calc into bootloader mode. Find the boot select button on the Raspberry Pi Pico board, which is located inside the Pico Calc case. Now press and hold the boot select button. While you're holding it, plug the micro USB cable into the Raspberry Pi Pico board, not your Pico Calc. Once connected, you can release the boot select button. Your computer should now recognize it as a new USB mass storage device. If you're on a Pico W, it'll say RPI-RP2. If you're on a Pico 2W, it will say RP2350. This behaves just like a standard USB drive. So now locate the UF2 firmware file you downloaded from my GitHub and all you have to do is drag and drop that file directly onto the drive. When we drop the file, the PicoCalc flashed itself with the new firmware, and then the drive automatically disconnects from your computer and the device will automatically reboot with the new Flipper HTTP firmware. And that's it, the PicoCalc is now a dedicated Wi-Fi module for your Flipper Zero. You can unplug it from the computer.